The next Five Nights at Freddy's game has just been leaked. No, this is not a drill and no, this is not fake or clickbait. The next Five Nights at Freddy's game coming out on the 10 year anniversary called Five Nights at Freddy's Into the Pit. Of course, being based off the novel Five Nights at Freddy's Into the Bit of Faz, Into the Pit, not Bit, from Fazbear frights okay so i definitely read the book and i really do actually like it and i know a little bit about the book kind of forgot different things about it but it is getting a game that's going to be releasing on the 10 year anniversary for fnaf so without further ado let me go give you a quick rundown of how this happened in under 24 hours it all started with finds of freddy's into the pit being leaked the name and the whole title and the idea of this game ever being out by none other than School Elastic posting different highlights about Five Nights at Freddy's, about the movies and the highlights. Security Breach DLC came out, coming out, talking about how 2023 was just a great year for FNAF. Then they bring in Into the Pit, new game coming soon. Now this alone is not enough to do an entire video on. It's the reason why I didn't mention it at all because it's just kind of small to talk about. We did not know if this meant Into the Pit like your, because this is of course School Elastic a good book place so it's kind of like going into the bit diving into new games coming soon or new games coming soon or game we had no entire idea what this guy actually could have actually meant if it was like marketing or if they're actually making a game on into the pit well now we know until later today because that was actually posted around last night so it hasn't even been a full 24 hours let yet until this came out this was circling around a whole entire internet and twitter i was going to make a video on it but we had no concrete evidence if this was official or not it's showing the Into the Pit, but this time it looks really cool. Some people saying that it looks AI generated, some people saying it didn't. I didn't really tell and I couldn't really tell. With, of course, someone on 4chan just going and popping this out. With later on also popping out this image showing that it was actually a banner and an ad on Steam, which is, of course, pretty strange. Nobody ever came across this ad. It says Five Nights at Freddy's franchise, showing a zoomed in photo of the Into the Pit and a little bit of the banner Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted 2. So so of course with this going around, we're all confused as a fandom of yo, is this actually real? But you know the Five Nights Freddy's fans, they can easily just go and dig. So since we already had some images and of course the name of the game, people started to actually do some research until they came upon this. If you look up Five Nights at Freddy's Into the Pit Mega Cat Studios, you will come across this link. Yes, it says survive Finest of Freddy's Tower in this chilling adventure game. Travel through time to solve puzzles, gather clues, and outrun the threats chasing you through. And it probably says throughout the pizza plex or throughout something because if you click on this link, they remove the trailer and they have officially removed this. But if you look it up, it could still actually show this link. Of course, Mega Cat Studios probably did not mean to leak this at all and it just happened to be leaked out by Scholastic talking about the game because I bet if it wasn't for Scholastic mentioning this no one would have ever looked at it maybe someone would have got the ad and popped it out and then everybody would be like that looks strange maybe it's just new arts or something but it all eventually fell down to the official trailer being leaked the trailer has a runtime of exactly one minute and it shows almost everything we can see about the game I'm not gonna do a reaction to the trailer right now since I actually haven't even watched the full trailer and right now I'm just doing a video on it because what Scott actually replied about it we'll be talking a little bit later on as you guys can see it's a little low quality trailer i'm actually putting on the screen i'm going to be showing us clips of it and not all of it because i do not want to get copyrighted of course but as you guys can actually see it looks great it's actually an 8-bit retro type game or whatever bits you guys want to call it, like Daco said and of course this is now going to be an 8-bit game so i was expecting this to actually be like a 3d type roam scope i mean you know like just walking around the game kind of like security breach but it sadly was not but it still looks absolutely crazy i gotta say i gotta say i love the style of the game it's something unique from fantasy freddy's we never got this uh, any fnaf game in this type of style kind of reminds me of mr hops with higher budget but i gotta say the whole premise of the book always makes for an amazing game of a time traveling ball pit you solving mysteries as of course the kid it's just a great concept and it looks so good i guess absolutely love the way it looks even if i would have loved it being first person this still looks great and as you guys can see from the photos and the things i'm showing it's of course looking terrifying the animations is also amazing and it's just 
a great game I was not expecting. You can also hide into plus check. So if I'm talking about analysis, guys, since I'm going to be talking about it now, as you guys can actually see, it looks like his dad got dragged into the pit and it looks like he goes in there and you can hide within spring lock suits from back then in the old, of course, you know, area. So if, I don't want to go too in depth in this trailer since I'm waiting for them to officially release it. Then I'll be able to do a reaction on that. Also, tomorrow we're getting the Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 official trailer. So I have a lot to do. So right now this video is just talking about the game being leaked. And if you're at this part of the video, please don't forget to subscribe. It really helps out the channel and you'll be doing me such a huge favor. It only takes a few seconds and I'm legally required to ask you to. So, well, you know, that's really it. But Scott Cotton has posted on Reddit and finally replying to the whole entire leak incident. And this is the only reason why I'm mainly actually doing the video because he says here, no need to keep it all hush hush. It's okay. So that's why I'm talking about it. Let's go. And he says, yes, I was trying to keep it a secret for a bit longer, but now that it's out, that's fine. The game has been in development for a really long time, actually. And now I'm really, and I'm really proud of the final product. It'll be a 10th anniversary game. As you guys can see, that of course shows a lot saying that he was trying to keep it a secret, but within all the whole school lasting thing, then people getting the ad, and then people doing development to find it, it's no way he can hide it and it's no way he can just push it under the covers or take it down like the Roblox game. So it's kind of funny. This is the second game to be leaked beside the Roblox one, which I already did a video on. But yes, it looks really good. And of course it been, as you guys can see, been in the works for a long time, as I could tell. It looks like we're going to be getting multiple FNAF games because this is not being made by Steel Wool. And we do know we're going to be getting some type of Fire Staff Freddy security breach, I mean, Help Wanted 2 DLC later on. So it's just great to see that the 10 year anniversary of Fire Staff Freddy's is going to have so many brand new games, contents, things like that. And this is, of course, an open a, a whole new door of possibilities, like new games being related around the books because everyone kept saying, is the books canon? Is it not? Well, if you make the books into a game, that just, you know, settles it in, seals the deal for it, of course, being canon. But yes, that's the brand new leaked Finance of Freddy's Into the Pit game. I gotta say, guys, it's looking amazing. Yes, I would have preferred it to be 3D, but at the end of the day, this is a unique style and looks like unique gameplay, something that we have never seen in the Finance of Freddy's universe or style before i am extremely happy for this and looking forward to it yes it might have been leaked and it might have ruined the surprise of it but it was still a surprise for me too and it was fun seeing all the mini incidents just popping up for it all <laughs> it's really great i am gonna put the trailer on but i'm only gonna put a few seconds of the trailer while i'm talking about it because i don't want to put the entire trailer just in case it gets taken down or copyrighted or anything like that maybe they're gonna re-upload the trailer sooner or later but i'll just be showing you know some different type of game play for mixed of you know security breach and then just pop in this whenever it's here anyways guys can let me know in the comments below what do you guys do think about the game have you ever read the books and of course if you didn't the quick summaries is time traveling ball pit back to the olden parks i mean the olden uh, you know restaurants with spring bonnie not being apton but a memory of apton full of agony you know it's kind of like a uh, a remnant, whatever you want to call it, is this he's really angry, it's not really him, and he's attacking you, and this game would be you solving puzzles while trying to f solve the mystery of the old pizza play. So that, of course, seems really interesting, is already getting such an interesting start for this game. Anyways, let me know in the comments below what you think about the game, and what do you think about it getting leaked, and that this is the second game getting leaked for Final Freddy's. Let me know.